John. A marvelous job of maintaining your focus and taking one game at a time. But you're, have, you're going home, and the fourth one's always the toughest to win. How do you maintain that level of composure, knowing what's at stake back home? Yeah, I think we've done a pretty good job all year of just focusing on the task at hand, not listening to any outside noise. We know the, t the fourth game's going to be the toughest, and they're going to bring everything they have. So um, get some rest today and uh, get ready for a, for a fun game on Friday. Ty had his obviously his first goal in his first game. Um, do you remember your first goal? And do you still have that puck somewhere? Your yeah, 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 I do. Um, obviously, wasn't as big in, as big of a game as <laughs> as his. Um, it's pretty cool, um, pretty impressive to to be able to do. And um, he was great last night, and um, he's gonna be good for a long time. What was he like last night after that? I mean, pretty cool customer. It seems like to be able to do that stuff in a game five, score yeah. goal. Yeah. Yeah, very mature. Um, doesn't really feel like he's a 21-year-old or 20-year-old. Um, yeah, he just played like he's played a million games before. It was uh, pretty impressive to watch. For you guys, defensively, the pressure has been really impressive, especially on their you know, stars, right? That was the storyline going in. Stars against a lot of depth and a lot of great defense. But what's, what's been working for you guys? It's working as five-man units. Everyone's doing their part and um, trying not to give them too much time and space. Obviously, they're going to create some chances. They're really talented players over there. So just trying to limit it as much as we can. And obviously, Gruby's been huge in that for us. What was the, did you hear from Jared? And how proud is he, was he from of the boys and the work they did? Yeah, he just sent a quick text last night congratulating us. Um, obviously, we miss him. And um, it's probably tough for him to be watching. But um, hopefully, he heals quickly and uh, we get, get him back quick. The yeah, Avalanche said that they've struggled to get to their identity. And you guys have. What? What have you guys done to make them not be able to get to their identity? I don't know. I think we've just been playing our game, not focused too much on, on what they're doing. Um, it's pretty cliche, but um, just uh, been doing it all year. Just everyone that's out there is doing their job and um, taking care of business and still got some, some work to do here. You guys came into this series never having played a playoff series together. What are the conversations like in the locker room? Because after games, I mean, I think Seattle expects there to be a lot of excitement, and you know, you guys are doing what no one expected you to do. Yeah. I what mean, are the conversations like inside inside the locker room? After this? We've never played as a group together, but we got a lot of guys that have played in big games and playoff games. So, um, yeah, we kind of just treat it like any other game. Obviously, it's a little bigger, but um, it's it's a good group to just go out there and play and you know have fun. You also lose Jared McCann to the penalty kill. What did you see from that last night? That was good. I mean, the guys are, are blocking a lot of shots, and Gruby's obviously been, been huge in net for us. So uh, we miss Canner a lot, but um, guys are doing a really good job of stepping up right now. And then going back to Seattle, a chance to clinch this yeah. thing in front of your fans. That's it's going to be a fun game, that's for sure. Um, you know, the crowd's going to be electric, and uh, we're excited. Um, just got to make sure we don't let our emotions get the best of us and play like we know and uh, we should be fine. And last question for me, what is the biggest hurdle going into that game? You know the Avs have their backs against the wall and want to win and they've been good on the Yeah, road. Yeah, well obviously we know we're going to get their sure. best. Um, you know, they're going to have their full full lineup and um, it's going to be tough. Uh, so we're just going get to get some rest today and um, get ready for tomorrow and not think too much about it right now. A quick one from Jeff Baker. Uh, you guys have 13 different goal scores. What does it say about your team? Oh, I've been doing it all year. Um, contributions from everyone. I think that's uh, what a good team is made of, and um, it's continuing right now in the playoffs. So it's uh, it's a good sign for sure. Do you think uh, you guys have played the underdog role all playoff series? Do you think we're starting to open some eyes around hockey a little bit? I mean, you guys know what you had, but I don't think maybe the rest of the world did. Yeah, I mean, we we don't really care about what anyone's saying about us. Um, like I said, we just go out there, have fun, and play our game, and see what happens. Um, you know, no one really expected us to be doing this, so uh, yeah, we're having a lot of fun with it. Thanks, Thanks. Yeah.